Hello guys, this is question 21 and here we have to use the Boolean algebra to simplify the following expressions. Okay, so the part A of our question is given here and that is C E plus C E plus F plus E complement E plus Z. Okay. So, let us start solving it. Uh, so, before solving it, what we have to do? We have to multiply this C with all the terms which are inside this bracket and also this E with all the terms which are inside this bracket. Okay. So, let me multiply them and what I will get here? I will get here C E plus C F. Okay. Similarly, e prime dot e plus e complement or e prime g. So, here what do we have? We can see that this term and this term, these are two similar terms. Similarly, here also these two terms and one of them is the complement of it. So, what do we have to do? We know that according to the Boolean's algebra, what we have x plus x is always equal to x and similarly x dot x prime this is always equal to 0 ok. Applying this theorem here and this one here what do we have? We will have here C e ok because these two term will be represented by a single term here and similarly C f and here we will have 0 and here e prime g ok. Uh, now, after it what would we get? We would get C e plus C f plus e prime g or taking this c common we can see that here this c this c this is common here. So, taking it common from here what will we get? We will get here e plus f and also here e prime g ok. So, what is this? This is the simplified version and it cannot be simplified furthermore. So, this is the answer of part A of our question. Similarly, part B of our question is here which is given. So, here we have b prime c prime d plus b plus c plus d whole prime whole complement plus b prime c prime d prime and e ok. So, here we have this term ok and according to the De Morgan's law what we have if we have x plus y plus z whole complement. So, what would be what it can be. So, in a simplified version it can be x dot y prime dot z prime and it is by the De Morgan's law. So, according to the De Morgan's law this is the expression. So, now applying it here what will we get? We will get here b prime c prime d and similarly here we will have b prime dot c prime and d prime and plus b prime c prime and here d prime and e ok. So, here we can very easily see that b prime c prime is here, it is here, it is also here. So, let me take this b prime c prime common from it. So, before it or before taking this common from here let me take b prime c prime d prime common from these two expressions ok. So, let me take it common here. So, it would be b prime c d plus b prime c prime d prime and here it would be 1 plus e. Okay. So, according to the Boolean's law or Boolean's algebra 1 plus x is always equal to 1. So, applying it here. So, what will I get? I will get b prime 
सी डी प्लस बी प्राइम सी प्राइम डी प्राइम सॉरी दिस इज ऑल्सो सी प्राइम सो हेयर आई विल हैव दिस वन ओके और इट विल गिव मी वट बी प्राइम सी प्राइम डी प्राइम प्लस सॉरी दिस इज नॉट डी प्राइम लेट मी मूव इट और इट विल बी बी प्राइम सी प्राइम डी प्राइम टेकिंग दिस बी प्राइम सी प्राइम कॉमन फ्रॉम हेयर वट आई विल गेट बिकॉज हेयर आई कैन वेरी इजिली सी दैट दिस बी प्राइम सी प्राइम इज कॉमन इन बिटवीन दीज टू टर्म्स सो टेकिंग इट कॉमन हेयर वट आई विल गेट आई विल गेट हेयर डी प्लस डी प्राइम ओके सो लेट मी मूव डाउन समहा सो हेयर आई कैन सी दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू दी बुलियन जलजबरा we have x plus x prime this is always equal to 1 so it will be equal to what it will be equal to 1 so here we will have b prime c prime multiplied by 1 and multi one multiplied by anything will be that thing so the answer we will have is b prime c prime and this is the simplified version of our part 2 here okay so this is the simplified version and this is the part b of our question for other parts for other questions i will solve it in our upcoming video because uh, for today these two parts of are, are enough uh, because we have solved them and it is mandatory for you to practice other parts which we will also solve in our upcoming video so for today it's enough and i hope these questions will give you the intuition that how to use the boolean algebra to solve or to simplify the expressions so that's it for today and i will see you with some more parts of this question in our upcoming video till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon